Hello, welcome. Just a quick update. I've been promising for a while that I was going to breadboard one of these transistor radios so that we could do some experiments and uh, things have just been hectic around here. Plus, I, uh, well hang on a second, I, I just set something Sorry aside. That. What we're going to do, or what our intent was, was to take a piece of 3 8 inch thick Lexan, and this has still got the protective wrap on it, breadboard on here using these terminal standoffs. And I went to buy some of these a couple of weeks ago. I need about 35 or 40 of them for the project. Found out that these things are close to $2.50 a piece. I was not about to spend $75 to breadboard a radio that cost me 12 bucks, and everything on the $10 test bench was so cheap. Spending that kind of money on these was just ludicrous. So I finally found a source of inexpensive standoffs. They're nylon push-in. These are nice thread-in units, but I'll just drill holes in the Lexan and press them in. When it's done, what we'll do is the covering will come off of here. The schematic will go on this sheet of Lexan. This one will sit on top of it. All of the components will be mounted on standoffs right over the top of the schematic so that when we start to do our experiments, we'll be able to follow the schematic, break in to our test points, and do our changes. It will be here. Uh, the parts are supposed to be in next Monday. I'll get the board drilled up once I have the parts in hand so I know what size hole to make. We've got a speaker ready to rock and roll. Mounted up here a little bit better than the original speaker. We have a battery pack. I've got a potentiometer to replace the one that comes with the kit so that I can mount a simple bracket over here and we'll have the potentiometer out in front. We'll have our batteries. We'll have our speaker and the rest of the components will be as they came out of this kit. Uh, the tuning capacitor, I've still got to figure a way to mount that. That's going to be a little tricky. It would have been nearly impossible to mount the volume control that came with the kit uh, effectively, so I'm just changing it for the same value pot and a real potentiometer. At any rate, we'll have the thing ready to rock and roll here in about a week and a half, and we can get uh, going with the test series on this radio using some of our $10 test bench equipment. Just wanted to throw this in as a quick update and hope to be a little bit patient with me until we get her done. For now, I'm the Radio Mechanic. See ya.